So you get a lot of these bourgeois, high class Yeah, roles. I get that a lot. Do you, do, I mean, do you feel that that's, the, that's your, I mean, stereotype into that? Or you think you can actually do, you want to do something more? We saw you different in, um, in, a, in the yeah. 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 and even the one with the, in Black Book. Yeah. We saw you different, but yeah. were you so comfortable in that bourgeois um, um, role that you've always made? Well, funny enough, when I first started, I, um, I also did Tinsel, and I was a mm. character there called Joanne, and she was, um, uh, what do you call a younger woman dating, uh, yeah, an older woman dating a younger cougar. A cougar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they started to stereotype me into that cougar role, and uh -huh. I had to step back from it. And I said no to so many scripts mm. because mm. I didn't want that stereotype. I knew I had more in me. Yeah. Mm. But over the years, I, I am very intentional about my career, first mm. of all. I'm very, very intentional about the roles that I play. Mm. Um, so, and I've been blessed enough to be able to say yes or no to, uh, uh, to some films. But the thing is, I love playing that. If that's what you see in me, absolutely, I'll, I'll play it, the rich woman. But then I think now everybody knows that I think I have range, yeah. and now they can see that. Okay, yeah. playing Eleshinova, she yeah. brings it. Playing the um, big love, mm -hmm. uh, I, I thank Beyonce Stevens for that oh. role. Mm -hmm. um, she didn't even write that role so much like that. But when Jaya and I came together, the comedy were... act aspect what? of it for my character came out. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that oh, part I love the synergy. Was, so that place where he said, uh, I know what you did to Antica Phil play. And yes. I said, no, it's your fault. Yes. And I started crying. <laughs> I that wasn't written. <laughs> I mean, those are the kind of things right. that you bring as mm -hmm. an actor. You learn the character and you become. Yeah. Yes. Would you say, because, um, you know, you started for a while now, your music career, traveling abroad, you, would you say that it's important life experiences um, impact how an actor presents themselves ah, during acting? Absolutely. Mm. So over the years, I, I stayed a lot. I didn't, I didn't have the opportunity of living with my mom and dad. Mm. They were there. But I had the opportunity of staying with my sisters. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a girl, I'm a last born of seven what? siblings. Really? Yes. Ah. Last. So uh, the first one, uh, uh, we just lost my brother in January. He was oh. 70. So I mean, you can yeah. tell that I have older sisters. Mm. Um, so I learned a lot from them. I have aunties, and then when I sit down and I'm in a crowd, I'm watching people. I'm watching you, I'm watching what you're doing, how you're doing it, and I use that mm. when it's time for me to play a role. How many of us know those women who sell uh, clothes in Balogun, Balogun and how they are? So when Big Love came, I jumped at it because I, I thought to myself, them. I've seen yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've You've seen had that role. role. <laughs> yeah, and it's an outlet. Mm. I love playing, I love, look, let me tell you this. I am one of those people who can honestly say, and thank God for that, that I do what I love. So mm. Not a lot of people can say that, <laughs> and that's a blessing on its own. I do what I love, and so in doing it, it doesn't feel like work. Mm. So, wow. yeah, playing. And all you're making me love what you do. I mean, you think about me so enthusiastically. Passion. I have to ask this. Yeah. Do you have any regrets in life? Hmm. Hmm. I have come to realize that there are no regrets. There are no mistakes. It's just the universe telling you that that's not the way to go. Mm. So once you make that mistake, it shifts you to do to somewhere else. I don't think I have any regrets in life. Let me tell you one of the biggest things that I used to think was a regret was leaving the US, mm. leaving my children, leaving my ex-husband now, um, and coming to Nigeria, um, and losing all of that. Years later, mm -hmm. my children came and we were sitting, we always sit and talk. I pour into my children. Please, parents, pour into your children mm -hmm. what you know. It really makes a difference. And don't hide things from them. They're grown. They can mm -hmm. handle it. Um, so I started telling my children, you know, about things. And one of the things my kids actually told me, my daughter, which was even more important to me, said, Mommy, I am so glad you did what you did. Because in seeing you going to get your dream, mm. it made me realize that I should go get it. Mm. Like if at your age you could do this, then I can do it. Then there's no limitation. So that used to be my regret. Look at how God turned it around. So mm. it's no longer a regret. Oh. I, I, to many people. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, I don't regret anything. If you are pregnant as a woman, I always say pregnant when yeah, I feel like I need to birth, birth something, something yeah. which I was, I'm pregnant for my class now. So when you need to birth something, do whatever it takes. Look, 
I can say this for sure, that the glory that you are seeing, that thing in your head, mm. that that success, it is behind the hard work. Let, let me give you a comment. It is me. behind the hard work. It is like you're right preaching. behind. I feel like clapping for no, it, But it's true. It's right behind <laughs> that hard, hard work. work. Mm. This class is taking a toll on me. We're going to talk about the class in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So, I to me says, I absolutely love this woman 100%. Oh. Auntie Shaf is a blessing to make to the make-believe industry. Oh, her God, I, I've always loved her. I'm more in love with her right now, just watching. Yeah, just hearing oh. her. Yes, so let's, Thank you. let's Thank talk you, about Adele. your interview. What I picked from your interview was that, you know, to push, to go after your dream, you had to give something. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what you gave um, was family. Yeah. Someone watching today would, you know, at, be, be at that crossroad of, you know, have, having to give up something. Yeah. How would you advise the go into that decision? What were the things that you had to look at and say, it was better this has the to... step, yeah. Okay, so in the beginning, I knew that the foundation of my children was very important. I gave them very good foundation by the special gift that I and their father mm -hmm. poured into them. So when it was time for me to leave, I knew without a doubt that I needed to fill my own cup. Mm. If I don't fill my own cup, how in the world am I, I going to fill my own cup too. So I, I just <laughs> needed to become who I yeah. needed to be. And in doing that, my children are now in a good place. Wow. Mm. They feel they're doing good. And they're I mean, proud look, of their mother. And they're proud. You know what I mean? The re look, it's two things. You either sit and be comfortable mm -hmm. or you push through the hard work. Because if you don't push that through that hard work, it's two things, you're gonna regret it. Mm. Which one do you <sighs> prefer, the regret or the convenience. So, uh, the, the, you're, you're sharing a whole lot, and I think that it, maybe because you're in, you, you've gone through your journey and you yeah. actually experience life, but you alluded a lot to spirituality. I can hear you saying God. I can oh, yeah. hear you universe. saying the universe. I can hear you saying, like, I'm wondering. Sounds like BC. <laughs> like, is it, where, where, where would you, where would you, and, and we're a very religious society. Yeah. Whenever we're doing anything as a country, we're like, oh, God didn't mm -hmm. say I should do it yet. I'm praying so that God would give me guidance. How do we balance mm -hmm. our faith in God yeah. and taking the necessary action and taking the, like, taking the bull by the horn and going for our goals and mm -hmm. then you're waiting that God has not given me the instruction yet. Mm -hmm. How? How do we <laughs> Okay, so that? for me, I'm not a religious person. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mm -hmm. believe in religion. I believe in spirituality. Mm -hmm. He called me. He created me. He is in me. So, so, but... I believe in Christ. Mm. That is my choice mm. of religion. Mm. And it has worked for me. It has never failed. Right? Mm. So I was born into a Muslim family. Mm. My siblings. Mm. I still have some siblings that are Muslim. But then the thing is, I do believe that when it comes to your spirituality, how often are you speaking to your maker? Mm. How often? You say, he, he gave me Shafi Bello what I know. I didn't want a master class and I would, I, I talk to my own makeup. I don't know about everybody else. <laughs> I don't do the, he's far away. Mm, that's your it, G. That's that, your that, yes. Yeah. And, because of and timing. that's why I, to, I anchor everything yeah. that I Because do. of timing, let me, let's go straight to yes. Shafi Bello, what I know. Yes. Tell us how you buff this and what you hope to achieve from this new project? It's always been inside me to, uh, people will say, uh, you should do a talk show, you, uh, but I, need, I wanted impact. I wanted to give back to these younger ones because oh, what's out there right now is mm. not so good. Mm -hmm. What they're scrolling through, what they're mm. learning, everything that's getting their attention mm. now is not so good. But right now, I have an audience. Mm. have people who are watching me, Absolutely. have mothers who are saying, this is the woman you're watching, blah, blah. So I want to give them back the positive impact that created this woman that you're seeing. Mm. I want to be able to share with them and let them know, look, if you're looking at me and you think that I like this, yeah, it took a lot. <laughs> are you ready to do the work? And I want to let them know. I want to give them the nuggets of how I got here. Mm. and how to take it forward, how to take that baton mm. that they need so much. They, they, they Tell us about one of the episodes. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh, going to say, <laughs> really? what would be like one of the f messages you give, let's say, a 20-year-old looking at you and you're thinking, First of all, one of new the world. biggest thing for these 20-year-olds is timing. Mm. Time. If you're late everywhere, you will be addressed as that. Mm. If I want to call on some of my friends to do something that's very important to me, I know the ones I'll call. 
mm -hmm. because I know they show up. On time. They show up on time. I don't mess with time. And time creates integrity. It means you have integrity. It means you have hard work. It means you work hard at being there on mm. time. It just says a lot about you, just that. Mm. Just being on time everywhere you're going. <sighs> We're an African nation, yes. They will say the event is at 10 and it, uh, and it ends. When I was coming here, I thought I was late. I had called your mm -hmm. contact person mm -hmm. to say, listen, I, there was a little bit of traffic than mm. what I uh, expected. expected. But I called immediately yeah. and guess what? I got here and she's like, you said you'll be late. I said I was preparing, just mm. in case. Yes. <laughs> just in case. I would hate to waste your time. Mm. Thank you. I would hate to waste your time. And that's because I value you. If you value me and you say you'll be with me at 5 p.m., show up on time. Mm. And it shows integrity. Yes. Mm. Mm. Take that oh. in for a minute. Mm -hmm. As in, <laughs> I'm not going to really take that in. <laughs> so what is, what is Shafi Bello working on? I mean, aside from this personal project, is there yes. a movie which you was expecting soon? <coughs> um, is there something? Yes, so there are many lots movies. of movies. <laughs> there are quite movies. a number that will be coming out um, by next year. I've worked so hard oh, wow. towards the end of this year. <clears throat> so there are quite a number of films. I can't keep can, uh, yeah, and can't the keep up any so, like, so Because how do you you're so do? busy, yes. Mm -hmm. So because you're so yeah. busy, like how do you schedule the project? Me time. Then, yeah, me time. <laughs> oh, look, let me tell you something. I, I, I work hard. Mm -hmm. But I enjoy hard. Mm -hmm. I you enjoy hard. In. Yes. So you do two I, projects, one of the then things that I always tell people is, please make your home your zen. Mm. We're not home a lot. Mm. We're, 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 we're on the go a lot. So when I'm home, my home is zen. Like I get home and everything. My home is zen. So I make myself comfortable. Two. I have time with friends. I like I create oh, time yeah. with yeah. my people, yeah. my friends. Um, I do that, and then I I, I rest. I know you did some surgery, some some, some plastic surgery thingy. So I know. Um, yeah, I really no, no, no. Oh, I did I did fillers. Oh, on my yeah. lifeline. Yeah. yeah, my laugh line. Mm -hmm. So I had this smile. deep smile, smile laugh line, line. and I, I really didn't need it to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then I was there at the place and uh, laser them, and they're like, "If you want to do it," and I'm like, "Why not?" I so mean, I guess my, my question is, how do you maintain you your beauty, oh, I work very exercise? Hard at that. What kind of food? I work very hard at that, so I'll quickly run through. For me, um, I. It, I'm in a vanity industry. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's good to know. Let's acknowledge let, it. Let's so, acknowledge okay. It. Honest it's a, about absolutely. It. It's a vanity industry. And it's an industry that, why are they going to call me to play a sexy woman? Mm, if you're not sexy. Yeah. If you're not sexy. Don't look yeah. If you're not looking good. Yeah. Right? So I work hard at that. And then I invest in myself. When I used to play all this rich woman in the beginning of my career, those were my clothes. Those mm. were my things. Because the thing is, nobody can carry your vision like you can. Mm. So because I was able to, I would take my clothes, I would get things that put it on. I just to. <laughs> 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 yes, I invested in myself. Mm. And it showed. Invest in yourself. Mm. Invest Invest in yourself. Take time out for yourself. Mm. I put myself first sometimes. And then I tell people all the time when somebody else is going through, uh, when you're going through a problem that you cannot solve, mm. fix somebody else's problem. Mm. It will divert your attention from yours. Yeah, and so nine sweet. times out of ten, the creator will make a way for your problems. Mm. Works yeah. well all the time. Oh gosh, you run out of so, time. Are we? Are you sure? I no, you want to ask jump, jump because I noticed your support for, you know, your colleagues when yes. they have their projects and all of that recently. Yeah, this was on all of, I follow your page. I support, so I follow you. I support all the ones that reach out to me to support. Mm -hmm. I will absolutely support you the best way that I can. Look at my support now in what it has done. Bimbo Ademoye did a video for yeah. me. Kiki did a video for me. Um, Tommy Kerr did a video so for me. And they're saying I'm buying tickets. That's because of some kind of support. support. What sow seeds. Part. What kind of seeds are you sowing? Mm. If you sow the right seeds, you will germinate the, the right, also the blessings. People to pay. So, yes, I saw the video you did forward. with Bimbo and yes. how she was. Okay, we did see. So, we saw the seeds. She knelt yes. down. She was yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I was just begging the crew to please help her finish this because I knew it was her yeah. passion, yeah. and yeah. I just came in to help her play that role. But I moved on. She wanted to pay me, but I'm like, look, I mean, she's loaded. She's fine. Those girls are doing great. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But I mean, that was my time to yeah. sow into her life. But okay. look at what I'm reaping now. Mm. Look at what I'm reaping. Oh, I don't so. want you to go. I oh. mean. <laughs> like, we could have been here. I just knew we got to be here. Because I got to oh. know you much better. I mean, yeah, I just see yes. the glamorous. Uh, even me, I'm yeah. coming for the. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm coming. Yes. Yes. So we have oh, to buy tickets? Yes. yes. So yes. Tell us how to oh, get Oh, I'm going to get your tickets. Oh, yes. oh.
love the love love those hang with you. That is all we can take. I think Marisa wants to show something on screen. I'm not even sure what it is, but we have, we have love, love for you. Uh, There's so much, so much love for you. Let's that is on. all we can take on, on I like this. today's um, show. Are you going to sing it? No, no more singing. Oh, your song. Mm. Are you still in touch with this guy? <laughs> wow. Yes. Are you still in touch with this guy? The, Which, the singer, the singer. That's my cousin. So there's oh, no, there's no touch. Out of touch. Oh, we're blood. Good, good, We're good, blood. Good, good, good. Yeah, his mom is actually my mom and dad's uh, oh, cousin. So, so yes. That's all we can take on today's show. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a fabulous weekend. See you Monday and you can meet um, Veronica and the ladies tomorrow. Have a great weekend. See you then. Bye for now.